I have been busting my ass all day long, people. Um, I'm almost done. I got two or three coats of clear to apply to this giant job and it'll be a downhill slide from there. Let's go look at the job at hand and then we'll get on with the product review. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So my neighbor guy asked me, he said, hey Pete, I know you need some dirt. Uh, maybe we can do a little trade out deal. Um, he actually is in construction, this, that, and the other. So to make a long story short, we're basically doing a semi, <laughs> yeah, not the semi truck, we're doing a semi swap out deal, barter deal. Now I got more money invested and more time invested in my end than he's got in his. So hopefully he'll come through and be the nice guy and compensate for what I've done. But what we got here is we got an 18-wheeler, people. The only thing that I'm painting on this is the front end. He did not want the whole truck painted. And I did not want to paint the whole truck. I will not do it. Um, the last time that I painted a semi-truck was probably 20 years ago. I don't like semi-trucks, I hate semi-trucks, and as far as I'm concerned, keep the son of bitches out of my shop. The only reason I did this is because he's my neighbor, um, he did some dirt work for me on my property, and uh, I should have said no. But, that's the situation we got. So, what we did is we went ahead and prepped up the whole front end on this truck, then we went ahead and put one full wet coat of DBC primer on the front end of this truck. And then what I did is I took some old white paint. Uh, I had some pot white paint that was from another job. I went ahead and put uh, a full wet coat of that on there for coverage. And then I went ahead and put three coats of the white that he wanted on here. Now I'm going to tell you something about white paint. And this is what is called bullshit. First of all, do you see the color of this truck? This truck is midnight blue. So he said he wanted the fenders painted black. I had to replace one of the fenders. Um, and I said, okay, that's cool. But then Big Mouth Pete opened his mouth up because all the paint on the hood was completely faded out, almost down to bare aluminum. I said, why don't we go ahead and do a little design here, and then we can paint the top of it, come around and get your fenders. Well, in that case, if you're going to do that, go ahead and paint it white. If you wanted black, I could have got some hot rod black. I could have painted the fenders black with two to three full wet coats of paint and been done with it. But my friend Pete opened his big mouth, and this is basically where we're at now. So what I've done is I've applied, we're going to go ahead and say four coats of white paint. White is the hardest color to paint because it's the hardest color that's covered. I'm sorry, yellow is the hardest color. White is second. So anyway, we went ahead and got that on there. Now, if you remember what I just showed you a few seconds ago of the truck, you're going to see that this truck doesn't have a shine to it. Even if it was cleaned flawlessly and waxed, it would be a dull uh, flat gloss shine on this truck. Here's a fender right here. This is the one that I replaced. You can see it was all cracked right here and mangled and busted and broke and twisted and bent. And you can see that that fender was painted with base coat clear coat, but 
you can kind of get the idea of what the shine is like. There's really no shine there. So what I decided to do, I said what I'll do is I'll go ahead and paint it and then we're going to put flat clear on it. We'll go ahead and clear it with flat clear and then that will kind of semi match what you already got and it should look pretty good. So of course naturally being a swap out deal I got to um, I got to uh, what do we call that? I'm, I'm tongue tied for the word here. Keep track. There you go. I got to keep track of all the pennies that I spend to calculate how much money I've spent on this swap out job. Um, I was going to go ahead and get PPG uh, flat clear and I decided against that because that is almost $200 a quart. This is the clear that I got and we're going to look at it here in a second. Um, then I was going to get this other clear made by House of Color, uh, but it was $142 a quart or something like that. And then I started shopping around. I went over to my buddy Mike over there at Color Wheel over in Grand Junction, Colorado. And if you're in the Grand Junction area, the Western Slope area, please support our local um, businesses. And I'm not talking the corporations. I'm talking guys like me. Support Mike over at the Color Wheel. His information's right there. You're looking at it, and you'll see detailed information in the description of the video. Mike and Steve are very honest guys, and they will uh, work with you on everything that you need. They got everything, or they can get it. So if you're in the Western Slope area, possibly out here in Moab, Utah, um, all the way to Cortez, they actually have delivery service that will deliver to you, believe it or not. For a very small fee. I've had them deliver stuff to my shop from Corte, uh, Grand Junction. So I called Mike up on the phone. I said, hey, I need some flat clear, but I don't want to spend uh, $200 for a quart. He said, I got some stuff. Um, I sell a lot of it. I've never had any callbacks on it. And it cost $89 for a gallon setup. I said, wow, that sounds cheap. He said, well, it's cheap price. And it's kind of a cheap brand, but I've never had anybody return it, and I sell a lot of it. So this is the brand, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it around now so we can look at it. All right, and I'm going to put the hardener right there. Let me get my camera down a little bit closer while my friend Pete explains to you about this product right here. So we got this product here. It's called uh, High Tech. It's made by a company called High Tech, but it's really not made by that company. High Tech is a company that actually is in bed with other corporations and other companies and they have permission to put their label on that product. And one of the companies that they are in bed with is a company called Valspar. Valspar is a very big corporation. Um, I don't know if they own House of Color anymore, but they own Matrix. Um, and that's the clear that I use right here. I use MS-52 on pretty much everything that I work on. But they bought out Matrix. And um, we can go on with the corporation story, but why? I don't want to. I want to get on with this review. And they also have uh, contracts with other companies to use their products. Big companies, little companies, and all this. And then they pay them companies to put their label on it. Or maybe the company pays them. I don't know. Whatever the situation is, High Tech does not make this. High Tech is just a label company. A company that buys product, has permission to put their label on it, and then sell it as their product. So if you buy anything that says High Tech on it, the name High Tech, and there it is right there, remember that that is not a High Tech product. That is a product that they purchased and then put their labels on it.
got here? We got a gallon of uh, part number 77165 Flat Flinish Clear. That's what this is. It's made by this company. I'm sorry, it's not made by that company. Stop that, my friend Pete. It's not. It's labeled by that company. So I'm going to go through the process, and we are going to put this clear on that truck, and we're going to see what $88 worth of flat finish clear is going to do for us from high tech. So when I got this from Mike, the first thing he said before we did anything else, he said, make sure that you shake that up thoroughly. And he even wrote it on here that says, shake well. He also wrote on here that this is a six to one mix. Most clears that you buy like this are a uh, four to one, four to one mix, and that would be four parts clear and one part um, um, hardener, activator. But on this particular clear, he said that it's a six to one mix. And I'm going to presume that this is a medium solids clear that they sell. And then what they do is they add a flattener additive to the clear coat. So we're going to go ahead and shake this up very, very well. And what the actual deal is, is the reason you need to shake this is because the, uh, the flattener is heavier than the clear and it settles at the bottom. So it's very important if you want this to work properly, that you've got to shake it up 100%. So I'm going to go ahead, and when you use a flat clear, it's very important as you are mixing it that you have to strain it. And let me get a little bit of this out of here, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, I wanted to get a little of that out of there so I can get a better shake on it. The reason that you want to use a strainer as you are mixing it is because the flattener additive in here has particles, small particles, and if you don't strain it as you're pouring it out, those smart particles will get in your spray gun, and then when you paint it, you're going to have all these little white spots. So it's very important to use your strainer throughout the process of using a flat clear. Now, the hardener really isn't necessary to use a strainer because we're going to strain this when we put it in our spray gun. So we'll go ahead and add our clear. Once we mix our clear up, we're ready to go ahead and start spraying this stuff. I'm going to use my strainer and I want to keep that strainer going all the time with everything I do with this clear. It's very important and I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to bring it over there. I don't know if you can see those little micro white specks in there. Can you see those? All right. Very, very important, people. Very important. Okay, I got my high-tech flat paint, uh, flat clear in my gun. Let's get over there. Let's put some paint on this thing, some clear coat, and let's see how this thing actually flows out. <laughs> spray two full wet coats of the high-tech um, flat clear so if you're looking at it, it still looks shiny and I'm going to tell you why it looks shiny is because uh, flat clear doesn't really dry all the way for about 24 hours so it'll still look like it's glossy but in approximately 24 hours to 48 hours, it'll finally dull down and it'll be flat. Um, it went on really nice. I like the way that it flowed out. Um, I went ahead and put two coats on it, two full wet coats. And it seemed like it was a nice clear. We won't really know until we actually see how flat it gets. If it gets real chalky, chalky flat, I'm not going to like it. If it gets to a nice semi-gloss flat, we'll probably go with it. And at the same time, while I did the front end of the 
big truck, we went ahead and did the cowling as well. So for $88 plus tax, it seems like this clear, this, this flat finish clear from high tech actually is going on very well and I'm not having any issues with it yet. Um, you can see right here that the hardener they use, it's just their normal average hardener. And one more thing about this is that Mike said you can't get anything else. That's the only hardener you can get with it. But as I read the label, it says activator medium. Hmm. So I'm sure if you order it, you can get a slow, medium, and fast hardener. Uh, maybe Mike over at Color Wheel, that's all he carries, I don't know. But he specifically told me that's the only hardener that comes with this uh, flat finish um, package deal. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. And in a couple days we're going to come back and see what the finish looks like. And hopefully it's going to pass like butter on bread. Okay, so it's the next day I actually put the truck back together. Uh, we went ahead and let the clear dry overnight. Let's take a look at it and see what we got. And um, can you kind of get a sheen where the light will kind of... So it's really not super flat blank. It's more, I mean flat. It's not super flat. What it is though, it's basically a semi-gloss. Now, this is something when I was using this, I noticed it doesn't have any smell at all. That's kind of odd that you would use a dangerous chemical and it doesn't have a smell so you know you're breathing it. Don't you agree? I mean, that's why they put scents, they, they, they put a scent in the clear so you know you're breathing it and, and hurting yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when you're spraying something like this clear or any type of paint product that, which is dangerous to your health and it doesn't have a smell to it, I mean, that's kind of oddball to me. All right? Are you understand what I'm talking about? We're talking about clear here. You tell me not to talk during this video, Pete. Did I tell you not to talk? Yes. I didn't say not to talk, did I? Yes, you did. Okay, well, I'm asking you a question now. Does that seem odd to you that there wouldn't be a scent to the clear so you know you're actually breathing a toxic? Well, it is kind of odd that there's no smell to it, but, you know, common sense tells you you should always use your PPE. I understand so. that, but you always got these nitwit dumbasses out there that don't realize that, and they think, well, it doesn't smell, so it must not hurt you. So anyway, as far as this product goes, I'm going to be honest with you. Can you kind of get a gander in this corner here, kind of look around and see? It lays down smooth, uh, minimal orange peel. I don't even see any orange peel in it. Um, it has a nice quality semi-gloss shine to it. You can see right here that this was painted. I, I put two full wet coats on this. And you can kind of see my reflection in it, but you really can't see it. Would I use this on my car, my show car? No, I would not use this on that. Would I use it on this 18-wheeler? Yes, I would use that on a truck that's a work truck. I would not rely on this uh, $88 plus gallon of clear to uh, um, restore my vehicle. But if you got a rat rod or you got some jalopy that you want to paint, and let's say you got some spare paint around and you want to clear it, okay, this clear is great for that. $88. Um, once again, if you live in the uh, Western, Slope. Western Slope, thank you, Minnie. She wasn't supposed to talk. The Western Slope area of Colorado, Utah, and surrounding states, contact Mike or Steve over at Color Wheel. They sell this stuff, $88. I think it's worth $88. Bucks. It's not a product that I would rely on as far as like lasting me 20 years. But for something like this, yeah, it would be a great situation. Now, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. High Tech Clear and Hardener. Let's go in and finish this out. Okay, now that we're inside, this is the product we're talking about. Anybody that's caught us late. High Tech Flat Finish Clear, number 77165. And then, of course, the High Tech High Gloss Universal Clear Activator right there. What was all that about? Just so they could see the number in case they wanted to have the number. Okay, 7102. $88. Remember, shake well. It's a 6 to 1 mix, not a 4 to 1. And I used approximately 2 and a half to 3 quarts painting that front end and those two canisters. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. 
saying that this product would be good for, uh, what can we say, a cheap job? Would you call it that? Maybe a real shots or uh, work, truck job. work truck job or maybe a scuff and paint quickie, get out of the shop area and make a little a couple bucks. I would not use this to rely on it to do a custom job build. It's a good product, but I mean, you get what you pay for in the paint body industry. I don't care what anybody says. And this is an item right here. You're getting what you pay for. Take it easy.